All right. So before we get into uh, creating our own clients, because there's a whole load of complexity that comes in there, I want to talk about uh, client roles and how they relate to everything we've already been talking about. Users, groups, realm roles, composite roles, all of that good stuff. And I'm actually going to show all of that with the built-in clients that Keycloak Cloak creates uh, when it creates a new realm. I'm not going to get into the details of what each of the what each of these clients does. Um, they all serve a purpose, uh, and they all basically they all have to be there in the way they're configured right now in order for Key Cloak to work, uh, continue to work, to continue to work internally. Um, but let's look at say admin CLI, right? And this is a client. It's an OAuth Open ID Connect client, which basically OAuth two. You can they there is a distinction, but you can think of them as basically the same thing. Uh, and let's look at roles. Well, there are no roles, so that's not very interesting. Let's look at another one and see if there's one that has roles. Here we go. Here's one that has roles. So you can see these are all uh, client specific roles. Now what that means is that they aren't global to the realm, but they are specific to when a user logs in to this particular client. Client in general is application. Um, so whatever this realm management application thing is, which I'll let you in on a little secret, this screen that we're looking at right now, this is the realm management application. Um, basically this says uh, users logged in to the realm management application, maybe have a create client permission. Maybe they have an impersonation role. Maybe they have a manage authorization role. Um, and you can create users. You could even say groups, right? We could create a group and we could call it like realm admins. We're not going to add any child groups. We're going to go straight to role mappings and we're going to say client roles and there's all of our realm management uh, roles. Well, let's just say realm admins can do everything. So everything from the account, um, which is specifically to uh, the user's account. This is like user profile information and that sort of thing. So it really makes sense for potentially every user in a realm to have access to uh, manage their own account. Uh, but realm management will be limited to realm admins. I can just assign that to the realm administrator or the realm admins group. Uh, and you can see over here on the right hand side, uh, it shows the role, but because this is a client specific role, it also shows the client uh, kind of in this this uh, tag or pill uh, format. Uh, just so that it's not confusing uh, or not wouldn't be confused with realm roles uh, because realm a uh, realm role, you could have a realm role and a client specific role that has the same name. Uh, but anyway, go back to that client. That, and those roles, we also see that some of them are composite, right? So if we go look at view clients, you can see the associated rules, roles, query clients. So that makes sense, right? This is an example of very granular permissions. Uh, someone might be able to query clients, uh, which is basically like list them, search them, see what clients exist, that sort of thing but not necessarily view the clients, you know, like we did, right? We might be able to see this list, but we can't actually drill in and see everything related to this particular client. Um, but in order to view clients, you probably want to be able to see what clients are available to view, right? That kind of makes sense. So in that case, it makes sense for this to be a, uh, a composite role. 
so that's clients in a nutshell, client roles and uh, composite roles when it comes to clients. Now, let's talk all about creating our own clients and all of the complexity that that opens us up for.